Right then, we have looked at centre halves uh, all summer, uh, starting probably with Kim Min Jae. We've also had a quick look at Disarce and Antonio Silva. Uh, and there's been some pretty standout centre halves that we've identified that could have been an option for us at Old Trafford. Today we're going to take a look at Nice centre half uh, Jean Claire Toribo. And uh, he is a name that's just suddenly emerged on everybody's lips. So since the reports are coming out that United are interested in him, I figured it's probably a good time for us to have a bit of a look at what he's all about and whether or not he could be an important centre half for Manchester United the way that we operate. Now, the lad does, initially, when you first look at him, look like he's got the qualities to be the read deal. He's got a bit of a pedigree, uh, picking up years uh, at Barcelona. He also featured consistently in, in the French League and one that does ask a lot physically of its defenders. Now, about Tadebo, he's 23. Um, he's started his pre professional career um, in the south of France at Toulouse at the age of 16. Made his debut in 2018, where he managed to pretty much surge into first-team plans, made 10 appearances. He actually got one goal, one assist as well. In the 18-19 season, he, he deployed mostly as a centre-half who was a bit of a set-piece threat um, for Toulouse. He was also displaying qualities that he could probably step up and be a midfielder if necessary. He became a bit of a key player with an instant impact, and he got uh, 836 minutes of League One football or League One football in his first 10 appearances in the competition, which showed you that you know, he wasn't really getting taken off at all. Um, and the start to that season was more than enough to impress some European giants. Uh, and Barcelona did enough to land his signature that January, uh, which was quite quick movement, really, for a 19-year-old centre-half. He became only the 22nd French player to sign for Barcelona, and he was given the number six shirt, which is honestly whirlwind sort of start to life with uh, with professional football. Uh, and it's shown the trust that Barcelona were willing to put in their new acquisition. And Barcelona have had a bit of a time like us recently where they've signed a lot of players and not a lot of them have worked out. And that's not necessarily all the players' fault. Sometimes it's the system. Sometimes it's the, the stacking of players not quite in the correct order. Sometimes the training development hasn't gone right. Sometimes it's down to the player and, and you know, sometimes it's down to the club as well. Uh, but it didn't work out for him. He spent most of the next two seasons on loan to Schalke uh, and Benfica. Um, and they could be considered failures as well. So in the short stint with Schalke, Tadebo only managed to pick up 10 first-team appearances, and while with Benfica, he only featured twice, and those were in cup competitions. So in February uh, in 2021, uh, he signed with Nice on loan with an option to buy after a mutual termination between Barcelona and Benfica. In June, he was moved permanently, uh, and they paid €8.5 million Euros plus another seven in add-ons. Listen, 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 listen. It's smooth sack summer. You heard that all summer already. I know that you've heard that all summer already, but if you haven't done anything about it, then when you're playing in the summer sun, which I promise you is coming back, it's, if you live in England, you won't see a lot of it, but you're going to see some of it. But if you live anywhere else, you're probably going to see loads more sun. Make sure you're escaped from pubes to bum. This summer, you've got to keep your balls cool while still looking the best with the Manscaped. They're the leaders in the below the waist grooming and they are making sure that we all have a ball this summer by giving our pants partners everything that they need to stay fresh. Dive headfirst into Smooth Sack Summer by going to manscaped.com and getting 20% off and free shipping with the code HOUSEN20. They've got the performance package 4.0 and I know you've heard this before, but it's time to act on it now. And my advice is, look, if you've got a, a fella in your life, whether that's a dad, a partner, someone that you work with, a leaving present, a, a welcome gift, a, a landlord that actually you like, why don't you get them a Manscaped? For the man that's got everything, has he got clean balls? That's what you need to be asking yourself. So Performance Package 4.0's got the lawnmower, and it's got cutting-edge ceramic uh, blade technology that reduces uh, grooming accidents, advanced, to their advanced skin safe technology. It's got a 7,000 RPM motor, as if you give a shit about that. Here's the thing, it works. That's the top and bottom of it. And also, there's all sorts of cool stuff that comes in the bag as well. You've heard about the bag. It's got ball deodorant. It's got toner. It's got everything you need, including boxer shorts, to sort you out. So head over to manscaped.com, use the code HOUSEN20, you get 20% off, you get free shipping, and your balls will definitely thank you. They've also got Shears 2.0 as well. What are Shears 2.0? It's nail, it's nails, trim your nails. There's nothing worse than absolutely fiendish nails on a bloke. So sort it out. Male grooming, we all need to look good, we all need to stay trim, and we all need to keep our shit tight. 
Yeah? So sort your nails out. Sort your hair out. They've even got some more stuff coming. But sort your pubes out. Manscaped.com. House and 20. 20% off. Free shipping. There's a man in your life that will thank you. Trust me. Go get one. So he is a player that's shown himself to be scarily good on the ball. Probably honed at Barcelona, but certainly come out the gate with that sort of natural tendency anyway. And he's got a, he's got a ridiculous dribble for a centre half. He's got a 0.63 successful uh, take ons per ninety, which puts him in the top four percent of centre halves in European football. And he's fiery. In September twenty two, he was sent off nine seconds into a game. Yeah, I said nine seconds. That's impressive, isn't it? Against Angier, making it the fastest red card in league on history. He does have a pinpoint long ball, and he always seems to be able to get his head up and identify the correct pass. He's got pretty decent decision making. And uh, the key to Nice build-up is that he attempts 68.39 passes per 90, and he, he completes 88.5% of those. On average, puts him in the 80th and 88th percentile. His progressive passes are a massive part of his game, and he gets 4.8 of those completed per night, which puts him in the 88th percentile, which is, again, quality numbers over the last uh, 365 days. Defensive instincts are there, and when you watch him, you can see that. Um, and he's also spoke about that. He said uh, he loves a good tackle. He says you know, you know he averages 2.38 tackles per game, and that highlights how quick he is to close players down, how quick he is to catch them off guard, and he's in the 92nd percentile for tackles. He is a player that I think could look good under Ten Hag, um, and if the reports are, be, are going to be believed, it, it hinges on the Maguire exit, uh, hint in that... Tadebo's going to come in and probably be third or fourth choice centre-half. He's definitely not going to play every week. Um, and I think the, the chemistry that Varane and Martinez have got, and I think even the, the form that Lindelof is showing, he's behind all of those. Um, but he could be a good option for the squad. I don't think he's going to cost much. 20, 25 million at absolute tops. Probably all the money that we're going to recoup for uh, Harry Maguire, unfortunately. Um but yeah, I think it's uh, it's a player that's got some potential. And it's an interesting one. I, I would rather United focused on Amrabat, if given the choice of, of what we need to bring in. And secondary to that, I would still probably be looking at bringing in maybe a free transfer striker, which still could happen, I guess. If we get Amrabat, a centre-half, and a second-choice striker, that's so many players in one window that it just feels unrealistic. Uh, maybe that's something we can push out, out till January. We've done a bit of work whether or not they want to continue pushing that, I, I would be surprised to see. Um, I have my reservations on Tadebo. Like, in France, he looks good. He's had two stints in France where he's looked very good. But he's gone to Germany, he's gone to Spain, and he's gone to Portugal, and he hasn't done anything uh, of note there and struggled to actually play. Is he capable of coming to Manchester United and using the time where he'll probably, well, definitely not going to feature regularly to grow and develop and, and become a dependable backup. Big question marks, isn't it? Um, I mean, those of you that, I mean, I've seen people talking about him in the comments. Those of you that have, let me know in the comments. What do you think? And uh, do you think he's good enough to be a backup in the next one? Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news, as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.